Okay, hi everyone. Welcome to your first YouTube math lesson. Um, we are going to be thinking about perimeter for the next few um, tasks, the next few lessons. Um, it should be something we remember from before, but we're going to spend a little bit of time just recapping and reminding ourselves what perimeter is and how we calculate it. So just to quickly run through some of the key words we're going to use, we will be talking about the length of rectangles and we will be talking about the breadth of rectangles. Breadth is another word for width. Um, we'll be discussing perimeter and what that means in a second. We will be using our doubling skills today to find the perimeter of a shape efficiently and quickly. And we'll be measuring using centimetres and millimetres for these tasks. So I want you just to take a second or two to think about what you remember about perimeter, what perimeter is, and how do we measure the perimeter of a shape. So if you want to pause the video and give yourself some thinking time. So perimeter is the total of all the sides of a shape. So it will give us the distance all the way around that 2D shape. And to find that distance, we need to know the length of all the sides and we need to be able to add them up to find their total to be able to calculate that perimeter. So if we look at an example here, I've got a rectangle which has a length of six centimetres and a breadth of three centimetres. I can see they're labelled on all sides. So I need to think about finding the total of all of these sides in order to calculate the perimeter. Now we could do six add three add six add three, but a quicker way to do that would be to use our doubling skills. So I can see here that I've got two lots of six centimeters. Now I know that double six gives me 12 centimeters and I've got two lots of three centimeters. So if I doubled those three centimetres gives me six centimetres. And if I add those together, my total would be 18 centimetres. So the perimeter of this rectangle is 18 centimetres. Now on some rectangles, we don't have all of the sides labelled. Now that shouldn't be a problem for us when we're using rectangles and squares, because we know from previous maths knowledge that a rectangle has opposite pairs of sides which are equal. So if this length here is eight centimetres, it means that this length here is also going to be eight centimetres. And if this breadth is two centimetres, this breadth will be two centimetres. What I want you guys to do now is just pause the video and I want you to use your doubling skills to see if you can calculate the perimeter of this rectangle. Okay, so what we should have done is first doubled our length. So I know that I've got two lots of eight centimeters. That gets me to 16 centimeters. And then my breadth is two centimeters, so I need to double that. Double two is four. And if I total those, it will get me to 20 centimeters. So the total perimeter of this shape is 20 centimetres. So we are also going to be thinking about how we can draw shapes which have a certain perimeter. So here we've been asked to think about a rectangle which has a breadth of four and a length of five. Now I haven't got a ruler so I'm not able to draw that accurately. I'm going to label them with the information that I am given. So I know that's four and I know that's five. Okay, what I want you to do now is pause the video and find me the perimeter of this rectangle. Okay, so using my doubling skills, I'm going to double my length first of all. So I'm going to double five centimeters, that gets me 10. And then I'm gonna double my breadth. So double four which gets me to eight. And I can see that again, it's 18 centimetres. I want you to think about the idea that I've now had two rectangles which have a perimeter of 18 centimetres. So 
but they didn't all have the same length of their sides. It's going to be important. We're going to be thinking about how many rectangles might have the same perimeter but different length sides. So keep bearing that in mind. So first thing I want you to have a little practice of is doing some drawing of your own. Now, if you've got a ruler at home, that's fantastic. And you can have a go at drawing these really accurately using your ruler. Otherwise, I'd like you to be having a go at drawing a square and a rectangle, labelling it with the information we're given, and then finding the perimeter. Now, some of these are going to be squares as well. I can see, for example, this first one, it says I've got four equal sides of five centimetres. I know a shape with four equal sides is a square. The other ones, I'm told the sides of the length, the sides of the width. So have a go at drawing these shapes and have a go at finding the perimeter by using your doubling skills. So what if we are given the perimeter of a shape and we need to draw it? That means we need to work out what its length and what its breadth is going to be. So here we've been asked, how can I draw a rectangle with a perimeter of 24 centimetres? Now, if we think about it like a bar model, we know that the total perimeter is going to be 24. That means that the length plus the breadth plus the length again plus the breadth again equals 24. That must mean that one length and one breadth is going to equal 12 centimetres. The other length and the other breadth is also going to equal 12 centimetres. Your job now is to think about what could our length and our breadth be that when we add them together is going to equal 12 centimetres. Pause the video here and have a think about what could the length be and what could the breadth be. Okay now there are a few different options we could use here. I was thinking of 8 centimetres for my length and four centimetres for my breadth. I know that eight plus four equals 12. And if I doubled that, it would get me to my 24 centimetres. There are different options though. So I'm interested to see in your books what different options you came out with. Now, one of your tasks is going to be having a go drawing different rectangles or indeed squares of a given perimeter and I want you to be thinking about how many different options there might be. Okay so good luck with your task and I'm looking forward to seeing how you get on. Okay bye!